published 0258s, the 24th of November 2017 updated 2038s, the 24th of November 2017 the sister of Riva Steenkamp has said Oscar Pistorius has finally got what he deserved after in South African appeals court today more than doubled his murder sentence, Simone Cowburn broke down in tears when she was told by Mile Online that her sister's killer had seen his sentence increased from 6 years to 13 years and 5 months. Pistorius, 31, shot and killed 29-year-old Ms. Steenkamp on Valentine's Day in 2013 when he fired four times through the door of his bedroom toilet, claiming he had mistaken her for an intruder. Closing time Oscar Pistorius, pictured in 2016, has had his jail sentence for the murder of his girlfriend Riva Steenkamp increased from 6 years to 13 years and 5 months. The shamed Blade Runner now faces a return to a maximum security jail dominated by violent gangs, where he previously served a year in fear for his life. Supreme Court of Appeal judges were unanimous in sentencing Pistorius to South Africa's minimum 15 years for murder, ruling Pistorius' six-year punishment sentence for killing Riva Steenkamp had been inappropriate, Judge Willie Sarati said. The time he has already served behind bars will be deducted from that punishment, so the effective sentence is 13 years, Ms. Calburn sobbed when she heard the news of the new sentence, exclaiming oh my god, is this true? But it is what he deserved. He took my sister's life and he should get life in prison. This ISNT going to bring Riva back. Nothing will, but he needs to understand what he has done. He deserved it. Ms. Steenkamp's sister Simone Cowburn, pictured right with their mother June Steenkamp, broke down in tears when she was told the news by my online murder Pistorius shot and killed Riva Steenkamp, pictured together less than a month before the murder, when he fired four times through the door of his bedroom toilet. Ms. Cowburn added nobody except Oscar knows what happened that night. But we know the last three bullets were meant to kill her and for that he needs to serve a long time in jail. Simone, who was Reva's stepsister added this has torn apart my family and we will never be the same without Reva. I'll never be able to forgive him for what he did. The Steenkamp family spokesperson earlier said they welcomed the increased sentence and said it showed that justice could prevail in South Africa. This is an emotional thing for them. Just feel that their trust in the justice system has been confirmed this morning, Tanya Cohn said. Pistorius' father Hank told Mile Online, he was shocked and disillusioned by today's judgment, calling South Africa increasingly unpredictable and dangerous. I am unbelievably surprised, disillusioned and very disappointed. There are many influences and role players in the execution of our South African law, which makes the country progressively more unpredictable and dangerous, he said in a phone call. His brother Carl tweeted shattered. Heartbroken gutted, while his sister Amy, who is based in London, also took to Twitter, posting a cryptic reaction to the result. She appeared to be accusing the prosecutors who have pursued Pistorius through the appeal courts of having a thirst for blood, for whom facts and truth are a trivial inconvenience. Today's finding was the second time the appeal judges have overruled Judge Thako Zyle Masipa, who presided over Pistorius' murder trial and originally cleared the disgrace sprinter of murder. In a damning written ruling, the appeal court was scathing of Pistorius, finding that he had failed to be frank at his trial, and subsequent appeal, or show genuine remorse for taking his lover's life. Emotional the family of Ms. Steenkamp welcomed the increased sentence and said it showed that justice could prevail in South Africa. Other side Oscar Pistorius' brother Carl tweeted his disappointment unusually. The court also singled out Judge Masipa for criticism, slamming her six-year sentence for trivializing the seriousness of Pistorius' crime. I find it difficult on the evidence to accept that the respondent is genuinely remorseful, Judge Sarati concluded, adding, the respondent has failed to explain why he fired the fatal shots. To my mind, the attempt by the respondent to apologize to the deceased's family does not demonstrate any genuine remorse on his part. He failed to take the court why into his confidence despite having an opportunity to do so during the second sentencing proceedings. It is clear here from that the respondent is unable to appreciate the crime he has committed. The senior judge found there are no substantial or compelling circumstances which can justify the departure from the prescribed minimum sentence. He damned Judge Masipa's decision to hand down six years to the athlete as shockingly lenient to the point where it has the effect of trivializing this serious offense. Pistorius, who turned 31 on Wednesday, is currently being held in relaxed at a Ridgeville Correctional Facility, a few miles from his family's mansion where he has been working in the compounds, vegetable gardens and orchards and has his own ensuite bathroom.
the jail only takes inmates serving a maximum of six years, which will now force Pastorius to be moved to the notorious, overcrowded KGOSI Mampuru 2 jail. New rules Pastorius will be moved from the relaxed Adaridgeville Correctional Facility pictured to the maximum security KGOSI Mampuru 2 jail relaxed while at Adaridgeville Correctional Facility. He has been working in the compounds, vegetable gardens and orchards and has his own ensuite bathroom different views Pastorius now faces. A return to KGOSI Mapuru 2, a maximum security jail dominated by violent gangs, where he previously served a year in fear for his life back to this view of the prison cell Pistorius occupied the last time he was incarcerated at the KGOSI Mapuru 2 Correctional Center in Pretoria Pistorius pleaded not guilty at his trial in 2014 and has always denied that he killed Steenkamp in a rage, saying he mistook her for a burglar. Blade runner Pistorius runs in the men's 400-meter semifinal at the 2012 Olympics previously a role model for disabled people worldwide. Pistorius was released from jail in 2015 after serving one year of a five-year term for culpable homicide the equivalent of manslaughter. However, shortly after his release that year, Pistorius found was guilty of murder, irrespective of whoever was behind the door when he opened fire with a pistol he kept under his bed. He returned behind bars after his conviction, and is being held at a prison in Pretoria. The year before he killed Steen Camp, Pistorius became the first double amputee to race at the Olympics when he competed at the London 2012 Games. Following today's court ruling, a source close to the Pistorius family confirmed that the double amputee's father Hank will now apply to become amicus curiae, Latin for friend of the court. This will allow him to raise questions to undermine ballistics evidence that was heard during the trial. Hank believes that the state did not present accurate information to the court and this was not challenged by Barry Rue, Oscar's lawyer. He thinks the information he has spent months researching is vital and proves that Oscar had no intention of killing the person behind the door. He is convinced he has enough to convince appeal court judges that there has been a miscarriage of justice in the case and his research clears Oscar of murder. 2013 February 14 Police arrest the Olympic and Paralympic sprinter for killing Steen Camp, a 29-year-old model, who was shot four times at his Pretoria home. February 15 Pistorius bursts into tears as he is charged denying murder in the strongest terms. February 19 Pistorius claims in an affidavit he mistook Steen Camp for an intruder. He said he fired through a locked bathroom door, in what prosecutors term premeditated murder. February 21st, Global Sports Wear Manufacturer Nike suspends its sponsorship contract with the athlete. February 22nd, Pistorius is granted bail. 2014 March 3rd, the trial opens in Pretoria before an army of journalists from around the world, with the testimony of a neighbor who tells the court she heard terrible screams from a woman. Ten days later, Pistorius vomits when a picture of Steen Camp's body is flashed on the court's television screens. April 715 Pistorius takes the stand and begins with a tearful apology to Steen Camp's family. This is followed by five days of often intense cross-emination, marked by bouts of tears and breaks in the session. Pistorius steadfastly denies any intention to kill Steen Camp. June 30 After a six-week break, a panel of three psychiatrists and a psychologist conclude Pistorius does not suffer from mental illness. September 12 Judge Thaco Zyle Mossy finds Pistorius guilty of culpable homicide or manslaughter. October 21 The judge sentences him to a maximum of five years in jail. He is taken to Pretoria Prison. 2015 October 20th Pistorius is allowed out of prison after just one year to spend the remainder of his sentence under house arrest. December 3rd the Supreme Court of Appeal convicts him of murder, saying his testimony was vacillating and untruthful. December 8th Pistorius is released on bail pending sentencing, and remains under house arrest. 2016 March 2nd Pistorius, now 29, loses his final bid to appeal his murder conviction. July 6th he is sentenced to six years in jail for murder. August 14th South African media reports say Pistorius is put on 24-hour suicide. September 15th prosecutors say they will petition the Supreme Court of Appeal for a tougher sentence for Pistorius, having described the six-year term as shockingly lenient. November 14th prison authorities say Pistorius has been transferred to a prison adapted for disabled inmates just outside Pretoria to serve the rest of his sentence. 2017 November 3rd the appeal court adjourns to consider its ruling after prosecutors argue that Pistorius' jail term is too short, while defense lawyers say the judge handed down a fair sentence.